In my last video, I told a story about a Bible salesman who went and seduced this girl that had one leg and she had a prosthetic leg and this was like during World War I or something. And then he seduced her and she trusted him because he was good country people, you know. He was a good Bible salesman. Of course he's not gonna do anything wrong. And then he stole her leg, like he, he stole it. So um, what I said is that we need to watch out for good country politicians. We need to watch out for um, people like that that have infiltrated the Christian church that are gonna exploit Christians. Um, and I'm sure that everyone was automatically like, all right, dude, um, as far as I remember, you said something about how you were an agnostic who went to church because you thought you were supposed to go to church because that's what you did for this drug lab. Like you went there to communicate with people about drugs or something. And you used to always go to see NSA people and they would torment you and you, you continued going to church anyways, um, even though you were super stressed out about going to church. Um, aren't you kind of um, the Bible salesman? And what I'll tell you is, number one, I didn't lie. Number two, I wasn't trying to take advantage of anyone. And number three, I was kind of just doing whatever I was told and I didn't really think about putting people in the line of fire. But um, the reality is that Christianity asks you <laughs> to put yourself in the line of fire for Jesus, right? Aren't you supposed to martyr yourself for Jesus? Aren't you supposed to suffer for Jesus' sake? Isn't that what Paul says? He says, um, make yourself into a bond servant like Jesus, which means literally make, it, make yourself into a slave, doulos, I think is the word in Greek. And you should make yourself a slave for others like Jesus did. So um, if you're a member of the Christian church and you feel like you were persecuted because you, I attended church with you, even though I wasn't specifically trying to exploit you, um, I feel like we were kind of using you guys as human shields, which um, do we use Christians as human shields for selling drugs? I think it's more we're using their religion as a cover for us because no one would ever believe it because no one would ever believe that a good Bible salesman would steal your leg. But we're not trying to victimize the church. In fact, we're trying to use the church to teach our children to behave a certain way, which will prevent them from getting stuck in jail. Like if I was quick to anger, because the Bible says be slow to anger. If I was quick to anger and I was quick to fight, um, if I was quick to hold on to my ego, if I, if I didn't let people disrespect me, um, would I have gotten out of jail at all? Probably not because I would have gotten into a fight. I would have thrown a punch. Um, so um, the Bible teaches us beneficial things. We like that. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, in a sense, we are sort of that guy in the church and um, there are a lot of us out there and it is a pretty good cover, <clears throat> but it's not all of us and it's not me for sure. And I don't think any of us should have to live like that. Um, the problem is, like I've said in the past, there are Christians that are like that. And um, I think that people need to consider the mindset of someone who joins the military, um, which granted, I tried to join the military, so I can't say it, but all I'm saying is um, some people like, how can you work so hard to go through school and then and then join the military if you're Pete Buttigieg and you're a gay person and like the military is against gay people because it's don't ask, don't tell, or it used to be. And at least when Pete Buttigieg joined the military, um, all I'm saying is like, how can you be so against who you are as a person? I, I've never lied when I was in church, but 